unfortunate that a lot more people in our community don't understand how important this issue is. They don't understand until they lose a loved one as a result of a police officer who lost his or her cool. They don't understand until one of their loved ones are wrongly brutalized by the police or locked up. And at that time, that's when they find our phone number. They chase us down and say, we need Nan to help us because the police has my child or the police have law, has killed our child. We, for um, some seven years up until last year, excuse me, up until last year, it took us seven years to get the Department of Justice here. We took two reports down to the Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. to try to convince the Department of Justice that there was a problem here in Philadelphia with the um, um, police department and their use of deadly force. Finally, in 2014, they heard our voices. Um, and we don't care the fact that the voice that the city gets credit to is Commissioner Ramsey. And we've told him that it's all right with us because it's in print that National Action Network undertook this effort. It's in print the news articles or articles regarding our taking up this issue to get the Department of Justice in Philadelphia County. What is important is that we were able to get them here. They did a report that came out with 91 points earlier this spring, 91 points of recommendations and improvement to the Philadelphia Police You know, there were concrete policies that led to that. Concrete policies, concrete practices, some federal, some state, some local, and then a lot of local institutions, such as school districts, got into the act of broadening uh, policies that essentially remove uh, young people from schools. Um, when I talk about the criminalization of youth, I'm talking about systems, laws, practices that either directly or indirectly result in young people being detained, incarcerated, and even, even if not that, building a record which has an impact on their future. Um, I'm talking about uh, systems that also push kids in a way so that they become disengaged from sort of education and educational opportunity and off track and therefore at high risk for ending up in some system. And I'm also talking about those systems and their impact on the possibility of young people having employment at all or decent employment. And so, but it's a range of systems and, and policies and practices that, that have led to that. Well, we're losing the mayor, that means we're losing the police commissioner, et cetera, et cetera, possibly, and that means that change is about to come. How is that change going to affect our community? That's what is critical to us. Hey, community Bell Hall. We actually started on a couple months ago, and we're going to be
have in-house resources for pretty much any social service you could imagine. So um, we don't have those in-house right now, but we work with the community um, in sending defendants to where their needs are best met. <laughs> Follow the assessment. Maybe we have to set up small groups throughout the city and the neighborhoods that will specifically just have the responsibility of evaluating and being watchful citizens as it relates to the assessment. Squeeze them, get them Never let them all get in the team. Where we started from the bottom, but I'm all the way to the top. And when I was stuck in the head, if I'm not the part of that, I go to get it. Got it. Draw it like I'm an artist. I'm crawling with straight to walk in the forest. And my garage is a foreign house. I'm not fucking sucking the swallow. Concrete policies, concrete practices, some federal, some state, some local section school districts got into the act of broadening uh, poli uh, policies that essentially remove uh, young people from school. I'm finding, I'm finding so many different mentalities in part. It seems, it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready for this challenge. And I was, I 